Uh, do you think our, rep our congressional representatives have the courage to oppose the corporations? You so, can... so far, no. Okay. <laughs> you think that the health care industry has bought off Congress? Yes. Right. Yes. Well, a lot of industries have bought off Congress. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Quite true. I mean, we could go into the arms industry yep. again and war and make, the, yep. make a, a parallel here. Uh, so, when, when, you know, when we go to school and we hear what a democracy is, is this a democracy when the wishes of the people are not being? It's used? not really a democracy. It's all about capitalism now. Capitalism has taken over our democracy. It's all about greed and money and corporate power. Like all the lobbyists on Washington, you know, they just pay off the government's money. And not everyone in the government is like that, but a lot of them are. Yeah. What would, what, well, wondering, what's your feeling about, do you think uh, the Congress is being bought off by the uh, insurance companies, or how do you feel about the health care we have at this time? I think there's an enormous lobbying pressure from uh, health insurance and also from, I think, um, some conservative medical groups were for it. Do you think our congressional representatives have the courage to oppose the health care industry in their votes? No. And if they okay. feel that Congress is being sort of well, paid off uh, to do the, uh, the, you know, the insurance company. Right, right. I am very concerned about that, about nothing significant getting through Congress. Significant game for yeah. Congress. They'll pay, have to pass some, something, but uh, whether they pass anything that makes any real difference, I'm not so sure about that. Because it'll be so watered down by all the special interests, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do you think our congressional representatives have the courage to oppose the corporations and the pharmaceutical companies who are maybe interested in making a profit? No, I'm not sure. I, I have a feeling a lot of people in, in the government, there might be a lot that, you know, could be persuaded by monetary interests, and that could be the thing that could work against the general population. According to a recent NBC Wall Street poll, 76% of the American people want a public option in the Obama plan. How do you feel about that? For it. Oh, that's great. Um, the, the health industry is spending one and four tenths million a day to lobby against elements of health care. What do you think about about Congress being able to, to legislate uh, according to the amount it appears, according to the amount of money that they get for their campaign re-election, as opposed to the 70 76 percent of the American people that want uh, an, an option for public care. Well, I mean, it, it does not seem fair. <laughs> no, right. But I would love to have health insurance. <laughs> well, yes, and I bet you have not. No. Nope. Yes. So, so, uh, so, Lauren Zeta Washington. Lauren Zeta Washington. Well, it's nice to meet you. A large percentage of the American people who don't have health care, whose children don't have health care. So, tell so us if you, I tell take my that. children to the doctor, say, yes. my bill may be five hundred dollars. Now, I don't qualify to get help from the state because I make too much money. But I don't qualify, I don't make enough money to pay for my own health care. So I'm paying study get calls and paying bills out of my pocket, which I can't make I can't make it anywhere in the world paying all these bills. So, so what do you do about that? that? Put them on your credit card? <laughs> <laughs> no. I just make a payment plan and pay it off slowly. I see. Oh, and it's hard. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm un unemployed right now, and and uh, you know to pay the insurance out of my own pocket that the company was paying is not feasible with my income at this point. I see. So, so there really needs to be a change. Well, Sue Olson, thank you so much. Well, I'm Wendy Jerome, and I live in Minneapolis. I believe that our our country economically needs to have single payer health care. The Canadians think we are crazy. The Canadians can't see how we can maintain an economy without it. Yes. Yeah. And you're with the majority of thinkers. Thank you. So you I will tell you that there is deliberate um, slurring tactics coming at people in talk radio and in other forms um, that is distorting what would happen if we had a health care plan in this country. Um, so I think people are being misled by people, by highly paid public
public persuasion. I believe that. Uh, the health insurance industry is spending one and four tenths million a day to lobby against it. How do you feel about it? I think it's sick. Okay. I said I think it's sick. Okay. I think that they're supposed to protect us and we're paying our insurance companies money to give us health care when they're charging us so much for what we need to stay healthy. Right. And they're making money off of it. Now, do you speak English? No. Uh oh, we were trying to an interview. Well, I, what do you speak? I speak a, a Sudan language. Oh, well, I can't speak Sudanese. Yeah, because I don't know English. And I don't have Sudanese. Okay. Okay. We're both for peace. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. you.